In this lesson, we're going to solve this quadratic equation, and we're going to use the method of completing the square. And I'll take you through this process step by step. The first step is to consider the constant on the left hand side, and I want to eliminate that. To eliminate it, I will need to add three. And if I add three to the left, I have to add three to the right hand side to keep the equation balanced. Now this three here will cancel with this one, which will leave me with three x squared minus x is equal to three. The next thing I'm going to consider is the coefficient of the x squared term. It's currently three, but I need it to be one. So I need to divide this by three. And if I'm dividing that term by three, I must divide every term by three again to keep the equation balanced. These threes will cancel. So what I'm left with is x squared minus x over three is equal to one. So three divided by three is one. Now I'm ready to complete the square. So on the left hand side, I'm going to have something that squared is equal to one plus again, something squared. Now in this left hand side, this x squared term comes from an x in here and obviously x squared. I then look at the coefficient of the x term. Now the coefficient of the x term is here and that's actually negative one third. We don't normally write the one in, but you can see it there, it's negative one over three. Let me just write that over here. It's negative one third. Now what I need to do is to divide that by two. So I'm dividing by two or two over one. Now the way we divide fractions is we write down the first fraction, we change the division to multiplication and invert or flip the second fraction. So that will give us negative one over six. So over here, what we have is negative one over six. And on the right hand side, again, it'll be negative one over six, but we have to square it. Now let's go ahead and tidy this right hand side up here. So on the left, we have x minus one over six, and that is squared. On the right hand side, let me just do it over here. I've got the one plus, now the negative one squared would be one, and the six squared would be 36. So I've got one plus one over 36. Well, this one, we can actually write that as 36 over 36. So I'm adding one over 36 plus 36 over 36, which is 37 over 36. The next step is to eliminate this squared here. And to do that, we take the square root. So if I take the square root of the left, I must take the square root of the right. Now, point to note, and always be very careful at this stage, is when you take the square root of a number on the right-hand side, you must remember that it could be positive or negative. Now, on the left-hand side, the square and the square root will cancel. That will leave me with x minus one over six equals. And now on the right-hand side, well, the square root of 37, can't really do anything with that, but on the bottom here in the denominator, I've got 36 and the square root of 36 is six. So I've got plus or minus the square root of 37 over six. Now the next step is to eliminate this negative one over six. And I do that by adding one over six. And I need to do that to both sides. Now this one over six and one over six, they'll cancel. So I'm left with X equals one over six plus or minus the square root of 37 over six. And if you notice, I've got a common denominator here. So let's tidy things up a little bit more. We've got X equals one plus or minus the square root of 37. And that's all over six. And those are my two answers. I've got one plus root 37 over six and one minus root 37 over six. 
If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.